Hi guys, happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So if you're new here, don't forget to take just a second to hit that red subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my new videos. So we are about to go into Walgreens and we are going to check out the best deals of the week. I know that some of you guys got that 5 off of 20 coupon, which is amazing and I am going to show you scenario for that. Now, I did not get the 5 off 20 this time, so I was a little sad about that, but eventually they gave me a 10% off of 35. So, yeah, it doesn't sound the greatest, but I plan to make it work. So, if you got that same booster, stick around and we'll take a look at a scenario for that as well. So, we are also going to take a look at the individual deals. So, if you want to just do one or two deals, you can definitely do that. I'm going to show you guys the deals in the store and then we will go over my receipts once we get back to the house. That way, you can see exactly what coupons worked, what didn't, all of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at these deals. Okay, so this deal is super easy. You don't need any coupons. The Schick Shaving Cream, they're buy one, get one 50% off. They're $1.99, so one of them will be $0.99. Cents. So you would pay $2.98. You can use 3,000 points with tax, and then you are going to get back 2,000 points. So it's not tagged here at my store, but the Persil is on sale for $4.99. Get back 2,000 points when you buy one, making your final cost just $2.99, and you can put this in one of your scenarios to make it even cheaper. So always a great deal you can do is the buy one, get two free on the nice baggies. They have so many different ones and it averages out to be about 93 cents per box. So I'm going to be putting these in my scenario today. The Tide Simply Pods are $2.99. We have a dollar digital making them just $1.99. We also have a digital on the Downy products and the Bounce. So I'm going to probably get the Unstoppables. They're $2.99. dollar digital makes them just $1.99. Again, there's several different items you can get. So just check in the store and see which items qualify. You can grab whichever one you want that the dollar coupon is attaching to. So if your store has the Scott products in stock, the paper towels and the toilet paper that are $5 each, they're buy one, get one 50% off. So it'd be $7.50 for two packs. You can pay with 5,000 points and just pay $2.50 out of your own pocket for those two products. So the St. Ives Body Wash, they are $3.99 and we have a $2 store coupon, an IVC coupon. You can find that in the booklet or clip it as a digital. So two of these would be $7.98, but with that $2 store coupon, it'd be $5.98. And I bought it as giving us back a dollar each on these. So that would make the final cost just $3.98 for two of these body wash or about $1.99 each. So next, some easy freebies again on the toothpaste this week. So you can pick up two of these for $3.99. Our total would be $7.98. They gave us a four off of two digital coupon. So you're going to pay $3.98 but get back 4,000 points, making these completely free. And you can pay with points and get back points on this deal. So definitely super hot. Now we've also got the Crest toothpaste for free as well this week. So they're $2.99. Two of them would be $5.98. We have a three off two digital. So they would be $2.98. Get back a $3 register reward, making both completely free. And again, you can pay with points on this one. So another one I was going to pick up, my store doesn't have it, but if yours does, these are $4.99, these Colgate Advanced Toothpaste, and we have a dollar coupon you can get from the Colgate site. So you're going to pay $3.99, get back a $3 register reward, making the final cost just $0.99. Cents. So another good deal is the Frosted Flakes for $1.99. They have other ones too, but we have this dollar off coupon. I got this from coupons.com, but you can also get it from Kellogg's Family Rewards website. So you would buy two of these for $3.98, use that dollar coupon, you'd pay $2.98, but then I bought it as giving back a dollar each for these Frosted Flakes marshmallows. So that would make your final cost just $0.98 cents for two boxes of cereal. Super good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. 
So if you still have these Werther's coupons from the 816 Smart Source, you could go ahead and pick up two of these Werther popcorn. So they're two for $5, but with these two $1 coupons, they will be just two for $3 or only $1.50 a bag. So not bad. So next, you can pick up some trolley gummy worms or some sweet tarts or some nerds. Um, there's lots of different ones, but select theater candies are attaching to a store coupon, making them 99 cents each. But also, we have a $1 off to manufacture digital. So your final cost for two of these is going to be just 98 cents or only 49 cents each. All right, guys, so if you're looking at the 5 off 20 scenario, you can get Persil, Unstoppables, the Crest, and the Colgate for a total of $21.94. You'd use your 5 off 20 digital, your 3 off 2 Crest, your 4 off 2 Colgate, and your $1 off Downey. So all digital. You're going to pay $8.94. You can use, with point, use points if you want. And then you're going to get back a $3 register reward, 4,000 points, and 2,000 points, making all six of these items completely free. So a super hot deal. I got the 10% off of 35, so I'm gonna do that. So if you're looking for food items, the DiGiorno pizzas are two for $9. We have a $1 off two digital, putting you down to $9. So you could always use a $4 register reward and also 5,000 points if you wanted to pay none out of pocket except for tax. So that is one option for you if you have points and register rewards other deals going on this week we have buy two get one free on the 12 packs of drinks and there's lots of different ones included in this sale so it'd be a little over $12 for all three Next, we have the Lay's chips for three for six dollars, making them two dollars a bag. And remember, you can use points and register rewards to pay on items like chips, drinks, pizzas, all of that. So, if you're needing to lower your grocery budget and use some of your Walgreens points, you could definitely do that. And that is a good way to um, utilize your points, even if you're not getting points back. All right, guys, so I just got out of Walgreens, the transactions went well, but my 10% off of 35 didn't come off. And I couldn't figure out why. And then I started looking at my receipt once I got in the car. And I was like, why is my total not 35 before coupons? I wrote everything down. My total should have been like 26.90 before any coupons. Well, guess what? When I showed you guys that that one Colgate deal was out of stock, um, the Colgate Advanced for $4.99, I forgot to replace that item in my scenario with something else. So because I did that, my total was less than $35. So, oh my gosh, like, I, I don't even know how I did that. But you know what, guys? It worked out okay anyways. And if you can learn from a mistake that I make, then that's even better. But I do want to tell you guys that I did test out to see, if you didn't see my post yesterday, I bought the Revlon Kiss Bomb. And it was printing out that $8 coupon from Revlon. So we can use those during the beauty event for the 17th through the 19th. Now, I saw this deal over on Instagram. A couple of different people posted it. Um, Clipcat and um, Deals with Nat and some other ones. Uh, Two Bright Saves. Like, I'm trying to name anybody that I can think that I saw that deal from um, on Instagram. So that was an awesome, awesome deal. So I went out yesterday. If you guys saw my post on the community tab on my YouTube channel or if you saw it on my Instagram, um, I did post about how if you buy one of those, it's printing out the $8 coupon each transaction. Transaction. I used a 25% off coupon plus um, paid with points. So I only paid 10 cents out of pocket for each transaction and got back that $8 coupon. So I tested it out again this morning and they had one kiss bomb left at my store. So I tried that. You can get other items like lipstick or lip gloss. The kiss bombs are just the cheapest. So I did get another one of those this morning and look what it printed. It's still printing. So I don't know how long that's going to be going on, but it was going on yesterday and it's still printed this morning. So super excited about that. Hopefully we'll have some great deals for the beauty event involving Revlon makeup. That is $8 off of any Revlon. Um, so basically, if we get a great deal on Revlon during the beauty event, that would work out nicely. Maybe they'll give us a deal earning back register rewards. I don't know. But either way, those are high value coupons. So we are going to take a look at my receipts. I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up, um, what I use points on, all that good stuff. 
like I said, that one scenario, <laughs> I worked on it and then literally messed it up. Can't believe that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the receipts and see how it turned out. All right, guys, so I am back home, and this is my Walgreens haul for September 6th through the 12th. So we're going to go over each of these receipts, talk about what the total should be, you know, all that good stuff, what points we got back, everything. So let's go ahead and take a look at these deals. So the first one that I did, obviously, was um, supposed to be my... <laughs> my spend um 35 get 10% off so 10% off of $35 purchase so on this deal I'm going to show you guys my receipt and then I'm going to tell you exactly what it should have been okay so here is my receipt for this transaction you can see the Colgate the Crest the Tide Simply the Downy Unstoppables the um Werther's the Priscilla and the sweet tart. So you can see all my coupons here, the dollar off the Werther's, two paper coupons, everything else was digital. So I had the Colgate uh, for $4, the $1 off of the Downy, the $1 off the Tide Simply, the dollar off of the sweet tarts, and then the $3 e-coupon is the $3 off to Crest. So my total was $19.91 after all my coupons. And you can also see here that that store coupon did apply to the sweet tarts and making them 99 cents each. So anyways, my total was $19.91. After tax, um, I was over $20. So I did use 20,000 points. So I paid very little out of my own pocket on this. Um, and then I got back a $3 register reward. Um, now, I put that in my wallet, so I'll have to get it out and show you guys in a minute. But the $3 register reward, that was for that Crest deal. Um, and then I also got back the points for Colgate. And I also got back the points for the Persil. So you can see here um, on my receipt, I used 20,000 points. I got 6,000 points back. So... With that being said, um, I got back, let's see here, $9 of that $19.91. So it would be like $10 for 11, or $10.91 for 11 items or 99 cents each. Now, because I only paid like three bucks, I think even with tax out of my own pocket, I was still happy with this deal. But how it should have gone is I should have had the other Colgate toothpaste for $4.99 on there and a dollar digital for that. So, because I forgot to replace that in my scenario, always add up your totals when you're in the store to make sure because I had it all written down on my paper, but totally forgot that they didn't have that item in stock, so I didn't get it. And then it messed up my totals. Like I could have easily just added something from one of these other scenarios to this to get my 10% off of 35. So I missed out on $3.50 of savings by not getting my total where it needed to be. So I just want you guys to know that. But if you did the same exact scenario, you would be using all digitals except for the Werther's, okay? And the Colgate coupon for the dollar off of the 4.99 one so if you get all of these items that you see here don't look at that because that's for another transaction but if you get all of these items plus that other colgate your total would be around 36.90 something like that okay so after coupons, your total would be around $21.40. Okay, so if you paid $21.40, you used $1.40 out of pocket and then paid with 20,000 points, you'd be getting back $12 because you'd get back the $3 register reward for the Crest. You get back 4,000 points for Colgate. You'd be getting back another $3 register reward for the other Colgate. Plus, you're getting back 2,000 points for the Persil. So total, you're getting back $12.00. So your final cost would have been $9.40, and that is including that 10% off of a $35 purchase. So it's going to take off about $3.50. So 
overall, you would have paid $9.40 for 12 items or only 78 cents each, which is not a bad deal when you're working with a 10% off of 35 versus getting the 5 off 20, things like that. Obviously, with the 5 off 20, we were getting some items for free, and that's awesome. But with this scenario, if you did get that 10% off of 30 and you did the exact scenario, um, and I will have it on the printable list and everything, you'd be paying very little out of your own pocket if you have points and you'd be getting a lot of your points back um, and register rewards. So still a pretty good deal that would average out about 78 cents per item if you're getting the 12 items. So that is that one. Like I said, still not bad because with tax, I paid like three bucks. So there you have that one. <laughs> so don't, don't make my mistakes. Make sure you print out that printable list and you get the exact items that you need and all of that. Now, on my next one, I picked up the St. Ives, I picked up the Revlon Kiss Bomb, the two Schick Shaving Creams, and the two Frosted Flakes with the marshmallows. So, on this one, my total was $16.93, and that was with only using one paper coupon for the Kellogg's. So, you can see all those items there. So that's a pretty good deal on the shaving cream, two of them for 99 cents after getting back 2,000 points. So anyways, on this one, $16.98. Okay, I am getting, or $16.93, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting back $4 on Ibotta because I'm getting back a dollar for each cereal and a dollar for each St. Ives. So already that's $4 back. It printed me this $8 coupon again off of a Revlon purchase. This is going to be good during the beauty event, so it is great to stock up on these. And I wanted to test it this morning for you guys to see if it was still printing. So maybe if you didn't get to get it yesterday, you may have the opportunity to get it today. It can vary by region, so I'm sorry if you don't get it. But a lot of people are reporting getting it, so it's still going on this morning. So try it, you know, if you're able to, all of that. So... With the $8 back, the 2,000 points for the Chic, and the $4 on Ibotta, that is like getting back $14 of the $16.93. And just so you guys know, on this, I did pay with 10,000 points. So anyways, your final cost after getting all of that back is about $2.93 for all of those items. Two boxes of cereal, two body wash, two shave cream, and a lip balm. So not bad on that one. And this transaction actually did print me one of these as well. The spend 30 gets 6,000 points. So that is good until the 12th. So I have a little time to use that. Might go back in the week and do another transaction. So there is that one. And then my very last transaction, this is totally, you know, just an optional kind of thing. You don't have to use your points or register rewards on food if that is not what works for you and your family. But if you do need to lower that grocery budget and use some of those points that you're earning on all of these other amazing deals for household products and beauty products and all of that, you can always use some points on a deal even if you're not earning points or register rewards back. Yes, it's best to use your points and register rewards on other deals that earn more points and register rewards. That way you can continue that cycle of getting all of your points and register rewards to keep getting great deals every week. But if you have quite a bit of points or register rewards that you need some items, this is definitely a good way to use them. So on this transaction, I'm going to show you guys here. I got the drinks for buy two, get one free, the two pizzas for $10, and the Lay's chips for $2 each. So the only coupons that I used on this transaction is a $1 uh, digital coupon for the DiGiorno and a $4 register reward I had from Revlon from like a week or so ago. So my subtotal was $23.38 after coupons. So it would have been $28.38. 38 for all of this okay so it was 23.38 i used 20,000 points so i paid three dollars and 38 cents out of my own pocket for three bags of chips two pizzas and three things of drinks so if you have some plans for labor day or if you just need some groceries for the house this is one way that you can use some points and i'm going to show you here on my receipt you can see here 
I redeemed 20,000 points here. You know, I just got some everyday points back, nothing special or anything, but um, definitely a good way to utilize some points if you need some items like this for your household. So you guys, let me know in the comments below if you are doing any of these deals. Did you already go shopping today? Um, you know, do you plan on doing some of these deals? And do you have other deals that you know of that were super great? Let me know if you found any hot clearance in your store, any of that. So let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. And like I said, make sure to print out that printable list. If you have that five off 20 or that 10% off of 35, let me know if you can do one of my scenarios. Um, and I hope that that 10% off of 35 works out better for some of you guys than it did for me since I did that. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Hopefully some of you guys are getting a three day weekend, all that good stuff. So let me know what's going on with you guys and I will see you in the next hey video. Video. One more quick deal that I want to show you that has nothing to do with Walgreens, but I just wanted to add it in here at the end. In case you guys didn't see my post the other day, I ran to Walmart this morning also, and I picked up these Klondike ice cream donut flavor bars. Now, check this out. There's a few different ones that qualify, but I got the Klondike Donuts Triple Chocolate. Okay, so these, they are $3.27 at Walmart, and Fetch Rewards is giving us back the total amount on these. So check your Fetch Rewards app, and if it says it's giving you 100% back, that means it's gonna give you back the whole 327 that you spent. Now, this is, deal is a limit of five, so you could get five of them for free. Now, I only picked up two, because I didn't wanna get all five, but you could go ahead and get these for free. So check this out. I'm gonna see here, I got other stuff, but if you look here, these are 327 each. They're giving you back the total amount. So I got back like 650 something on Fetch Rewards. So if you're not signed up on Fetch Rewards yet, make sure to click my link in the description box below and sign up using my code QD1VN. And you can join my Fetch team. And when you scan your first receipt, you're gonna get $2 just for scanning that first receipt as well. So super awesome deal. And if you're not signed up with my Ibotta yet, make sure to do that as well to get these hot deals over there at Walgreens on the Kellogg's and the St. Ives and all of that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. You can check out more of my videos here. And if you're not subscribed yet, take just a second to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and share it with a friend. I've also got a printable list of all of these deals in the description box below, as well as your money saving apps like Ibotta, Fetch Rewards, and more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.